Good morning, students. Today, we're going to be studying Lego water. Yes, the source of life. Without water, there is no life. So sit back and relax as we explore the beauty of nature. With First American National Insurance, no, 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 we no, bring change please, and ad, not, to our community. That was not a good time. Please, no ads right now. We don't want ads. Insurance to <sighs> Anyway, as I was saying, boys and girls, today we're going to be checking out seven unique ways to make Lego water. Now, I know seven is a weird number. I usually do top ten lists, but there's actually a lot to talk about in this video. So, boys and girls, let's check out these cool tricks. So you know how Lego makes these video sets? It's almost like a rip-off TikTok. So basically I went to Target and I bought one of these kits. I discovered that this piece right here actually makes a perfect hot tub piece. Just a little side note, but that sets me up for the first trick that I want to show you, which is just using standard transparent or opaque studs. I really like this trick because it's easy to install and the pieces are very easy to move around. It makes the water look very natural for a hot tub especially with the bubbles. But the problems with this is that they're very messy and they're a pain to clean up. Now the second trick, this one uses a mix of pieces and they're all transparent. Flat studs, regular studs, one by one plates, one by two plates, cheese wedges. The sun naturally reflects off of water so it has sort of like a shiny look. These pieces kind of give off that look. So essentially you're gonna have two layers. You have your base layer, which is where you can get really creative with all your colors. I start with white towards the shoreline to this baby blue and then from the baby blue it goes to the standard blue. It just looks like the water is getting deeper and then for your second layer you just you just slap on those transparent pieces. This one is great for if you have a lot of opaque tiles and plates. Essentially you're gonna build a large one by one wall and you're gonna lay it flat. You can play around with the colors. When I built this I wanted the water to look like it's actually moving so I mixed in some light blue and white. I don't know this build makes me feel Feel like I'm in Venice, not gonna lie. Where is the linguini? I want to know. Where is it? It's a very straightforward and easy trick, especially if you have a lot of plates. I just wanted everyone to feel like they could do something in this video. You don't have to have transparent pieces to do some crazy stuff. Speaking of crazy, I think this technique is pretty crazy. Now, a while back, I showed this cool net technique where you can create this flexible layer of Lego. So take some blue plates, lay a net piece on top, and to hold it in place, take these transparent studs and just snap them on. It's kind of a tedious process, but when you're done, you have a really nice looking flexible wave. Now this next trick involves transparent tiles. This was heavily inspired by Ninjago City. The set uses this cool trick where you just take a plate and add some transparent tiles on top of it. But when I made my version, I wanted to add a little twist to it, so there's actually some rocks and cobblestone beneath it to give it more of a natural natural organic look because you know how your boy is natural and organic because I'm actually vegan just kidding I'm not vegan this trick works really well for if you want something underneath your water grab yourself some snot bricks and some transparent bricks and you can actually make something like this you have a pretty sturdy layer of water and underneath you can put all kinds of aquatic life like some coral seaweed or whatever your mind comes up with and finally the build that uh, a lot of people just love looking at. This technique is actually very, very simple because it only uses two types of pieces. You need one by two bricks and one by one cylinder bricks. If you stagger it like this, you can build something large enough to impersonate something like a wave. It's a very flexible design. You can bend it to however flat or curvy you want it to be. I don't have enough pieces, but if you make this large enough, you can even create an entire tube. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite technique in this video? Because honestly, I'd have to say mine is the wave. I've said this before and I'll say it again. We're on the road to 100k. Okay, seriously. Why is the music? I need epic music. Editor, I want to feel like a Spanish conquistador who's about to defeat an entire army of Aztecs. Only a fraction of the people who watch these videos are subscribed. I think it's like under 20%. So for the 80% that aren't subscribed, subscribe right now. If you're not satisfied by the spicy content, you are welcome to unsubscribe. I might just be a little bit mad at you for doing that. So frick you. Just kidding. Tune in for the next vid. Drop in this weekend, hopefully. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Peace out and keep on building.